Hi, and as you can tell, I have got a Stitch Fix box. I actually made a few requests this month, and I even cheated, and I pe peeked online, and I'm really excited to share this box with you. But if you want to see what's in this box, just keep watching, and we will be right back. and just a quick outfit of the day before we get started and to start off I have got this uh, light pink Liverpool jacket on denim jacket that I got from mix and match earlier this year I do have the sleeves rolled up it is nice and stretchy it's very soft as you can see it stretches quite a bit the maxi dress that I have under is uh, the one that I heard that I really didn't look like a hobbit so now I am loving these maxi dresses so this is the first one that I ever had. This is from Stitch Fix. I got it in my Mother's Day Fix in May. It's a beautiful shade of navy. It's a Love Appella, a Tory knit dress. It is elasticized at the waist. It's got a deep V with a little crossover. I do have a white cami on underneath. It's got some really cute flutter sleeves. It's got light pink and some dark pink, almost so dark pink, almost like a fuchsia or a red, and a nice navy background. And even though it is a medium to petite, when I've worn this before, I've worn it with three inch heels. I knew I wanted to do the elliptical uh, quite a few hours today, so I just wore my earth shoes, which are maybe an inch and a half inch heel. So if whenever I did get up to walk someplace, I was just mind filled to pick up the corner of the dress so I didn't trip. I'll get closer so you can kind of see the color a little better. Again, it is a beautiful shade of navy. I've got on this pink necklace from Touchstone Crystal by Swarovski Jewelry. I didn't wear any bracelets today because I knew I was going to probably wear my jacket most of the day. I think we started the day at 57 and we only went to the mid 70s. Again, so these cute little flutter sleeves, elasticized at the back. And that is my outfit of the day. So stay tuned and I will be right back. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome to my channel. I am so excited that you are here to share my Stitch Fix box. And if you are not familiar with Stitch Fix, it is a clothing subscription. I will leave all the details in my description below along with my link. If you use my link, that'll get you $25 off your first box. And it will also give me a credit of $25 on a future box of mine. Uh, you'll use that link. You're going to go online, fill out a quick questionnaire. A stylist will send you a box of five items. There normally is that $20 styling fee, which is applied to anything that you purchase. If you buy everything, you get what we call a five for five discount, and that's a 25% off, and that always makes it worthwhile. You get to try on everything in the privacy of your own home. You get three days to decide, uh, and you go online, you check out, send back anything that you don't want. Um, you can exchange for different sizes if it's available in your size, and you pay for what you keep. So anyway, that's it in a nutshell, and everything that I just explained right there is also on the inside of the box. It's always going to be online as well if you have any questions. I believe this is going to be my Stitch Fix number 21. I've had Jen for all my stylings, and I'm pretty sure I probably have her again, but I'll check real quick to be sure. She has just done a phenomenal job. I can't even say that word right, but you know what I mean. She does an awesome job for me, and I just uh, appreciate the work that she does to uh, get some clothes for me. And of course, as you know, if you've seen these, you get these styling cards, which is going to show you what's in your box, different ways that you can style it, along with a stylist note. And I can see out of the corner that it is Jen. And so it says, Happy Fix Day, Nancy. I am so amazed by your weight loss dedication. I need to know your secret. I wish I knew, but I think it's everyone here in the YouTube world that's helping me with motivation. That is the biggest help is to stay motivated. Um, I was able to find a few of your requests and I made notes to include the pieces I couldn't find in future fixes. 
I know you are uncertain about sizes, so let me know how these work out for you after you try them on. These Liverpool black slacks have a subtle print and that dresses them up a bit. I didn't have the floral kimono, but I did come across this one that ties in the front that I think you're going to like even more. Those pants will also look great with the philosophy blouse with a cool snake print. I like snake print too. And a pop of color to this outfit with a wine colored satchel. After looking at your Pinterest account and seeing all the leopard print, I sent these leggings, ooh, leggings and leopard, gonna love those. Leggings that would look great with a tunic or sweater this fall. XO Jen, so I'm really excited that I still have Jen. As I said, she has done an awesome job for me. You are also going to get an invoice and I'll try to take a snapshot of this later. That's gonna have all the prices, the sizes, um, the cost, what your discount is. If you have any credits, the credits will be there. Um, I don't have any credits, but someday somebody uses my link, I may have some credits. So I'm excited about that. And for the satchel, and I did see uh, on Kelly Jackner's channel, she got this a really awesome uh, mint green satchel that she could carry her laptop in. And it's just, and I thought, it, I love the mint green, but I know we're gonna be going into fall. So I asked if they had something similar to that and maybe like a nice wine color or a nice navy. So we got this one, so I'm gonna open it up. And I know because I did cheat and I picked online, when I picked online, so I know it's not exactly the one, but I'm still excited to see what it looks like in person. So it is a nice shade of, it's a nice burgundy or a nice wine. It's kind of like a pebble type leather feel. Got a pocket right here on the outside. It's got some brass or gold type hardware. It's from Urban Expressions and it's called the Valerie Convertible Satchel. And so we've got a zipper on this side as well, and you can see it's got a nice lining. Got the handles right here, a nice leather pull on the zipper. Take, oh, it's got a dust bag to put it in. And again, this is the inside, so you got really nice lining. Got some pockets over here. A zippered compartment on this side and again it's got that burgundy type lining I'm sure it, I don't think it was that much money I forgot what it was but I'm sure it's uh, like a vegan leather and it does have a shoulder strap bag in it so I don't think this will carry my bigger I've got I've got three laptops um, so it might be good for the smallest one that I have and Again, I would probably wear it like that, but we will show that more when we get into the fix. So I'm happy with this right now. It does got some really cute details here too. So it's got like these buckles and these wraps that go around, give it some nice shape. So this is going to be really awesome to look at. And my bundle. So I can see this must be the, this the snake print, would be the kimono the leopard leggings and some black slacks and none of my slacks from last year fit me so this fall I am going to be in trouble when it's time to put away the dresses and start wearing some pants and sweaters alrighty so this first one it's a really nice heavy material these black slacks they're from Liverpool and they are called the Liverpool, the Tyla textured straight leg trouser. These are black in a size six. They do have a pattern on them. Like a nice little texture. I think if you get up close, you can see. So it's got a straight leg. It's uh, got a, like a mock fly in the front. It's got some back pockets. And they are real pockets. I think they're just uh, kind of no, they're not really. It's like a two-inch pocket in the back. It does have side pockets, so we'll see how those go. Because sometimes the side pockets kind of bulge out. But they uh, let's check the stretch factor. Do you have some nice stretch? So I'm excited to try these on. And I think for the black, these are going to be perfect for work and look nice and dressy that you can wear with blazers. I'm going to need blazers, Jen. And these are the Liverpool. These are the 
leggings and what are they called these are called the Liverpool the Carolyn printed leggings these are brown size 6 again these are really really nice leopard print I'm gonna love these maybe with a black sweater maybe a black nice turtleneck sweater or a brown one or both does have some nice stretch so excited to try those on this is the snake print top and this is from philosophy it's called the tamara keyhole Det detail blouse this is in a large and like i said i have no idea what size i am i think right now i'm down 37 pounds from the beginning of the year but this is the print on the blouse this back keyhole it does have a fabric covered button right there some little cap sleeves even has a little pocket in the front so excited to try this on i think this will go really nice with those black pants and this is the kimono and the kimono that i saw was actually on alicia martin's channel and it was um i forgot the brand it might be even be the same brand as this this is called the West Key. It's a Lostello tie front kimono. And the one that she got was uh, black with some like pink and white flowers. This one is kind of like a dusty blue. It is kind of like an animal print. So it's uh, like a dusty blue, maybe some brown and some black and some beige in it. This looks like it might go nice with some blue jeans and leggings. So anyway, excited to give these a try. So hang around and I will be right back. Or you don't have to hang around while I go change. You can do whatever you need to do. But I will be right back. Once I figure out where the, the pause button is. All right, and I am back with the first three items. First item is this Urban Expression bag in burgundy. I really like the shape of this. I love the deep rich color. I think this is gonna be beautiful for the fall. I like the, the hardware details. I think that just adds just a just a nice little touch. I stuffed it with my jean jacket to kind of give it some shape. Um, I didn't try it with my laptop yet. I think if this does fit my smallest laptop, um, that would be perfect for travel. And my luggage is burgundy, so if my laptop fits in here, I think this is definitely going to be a keeper. And I believe it was $68. Next, I have this uh, Philosophy top on. It's in this, they're calling it off-white. It's this really gorgeous snake print that I really love. I do have a, quite a bit of room in here. I don't know if I would size down to a medium or a small in this. But I think if it was uh, the right size, I think this would be really gorgeous. I really love the print on this. And it's got that keyhole in the back. It's got the rounded, there's a little bit of a high-low it looks like. Just a little bit of rounded so I, edges. So I really like that. Alrighty, the Liverpool trousers. So really love the weight of the material. It would be perfect for the fall and the winter. It's got a nice texture. I think it would be perfect for work dressed up with a, a blazer or a nice cardigan. But as you can see, they are a crop length. So for me, I really don't like the crop length pants. I just haven't got used to them yet. I know they're popular and that's what's in, but I can't do it. Um, I do have tons of room in here they are really baggy if i were going to keep them or if i get another pair of liverpool trousers that are regular length i would love a pair of regular length but i think i would have to go down to a4 so let me uh check out some other things and i'll be right back all right so i have on the west key the costello tie front kimono it's in like a dusty blue Got a like a brown animal print i thought it was black but i think when i it's really a dark brown i just paired it with some white wash jeans it does have this tie front and because the ties are so long you would have to keep it tied and i i, I think that i liked it better tied tighter than looser under it i just put on and of course my shirt is my shirts are too big this is an extra extra large so it's uh but it's a color that I think I would want to pair it with. But I do like the length of the kimono. 
you know, and I hated, hated, hated kimonos at the start of the season. Of course, now it's the end. We're going into fall. And what does Nancy want to try? Kimonos. But anyway, I am slow to change, as you've probably noticed. But this is uh, how the kimono looks, the, uh, the pattern of it. I think this is perfect for jeans. Um, if I had a, a brown turtleneck under here, I think it would be perfect. Even like a sleeveless mock turtleneck, I think would be great for the fall. Because once the heat comes on, I am right under the heat vent at work. So anyway, let me know what you think. And again, I think this was $44, but we'll go over it in the recap. And I've got my favorite things to try on, so I will be right back. All right, so I am back with my favorite item in the box. And I even dressed it up with uh, some more jewelry, of course, jean jacket, little fake leather purse. I am ready to hit the town. Uh, anybody want to pick me up? Because I want to have a drink or two in this. So anyway, loving these, these pants. These are from Liverpool. They're the Carolyn leggings. They're a size 6. It's a nice animal print. They're calling it the color brown. They're $78. Um, I love the fit on these. They feel really nice and comfortable. I just paired it with this uh, black mock turtleneck. But the brown, if I had a dark brown, uh, that fit nice. That would be perfect with it. Maybe even a nice, uh, like a deep tan or cream color would go nice. Maybe even with some uh, cream colored booties or brown booties. But they do have a really nice fit. Keep it nice in the back. The legs sit nice. Just really nice and comfortable. Let me see if I can get a little bit closer and turn this down. So you can see the print a little bit more. But I think they do have a nice fit for leggings. I just went, paired it with my pumps. So anyway, let me uh, pull everything together for a recap. And I will be right back. Alrighty, so I went outside with my leopard leggings, with my hands on my hips. And I looked up and down the street a few times. And nobody was coming to pick me up. So I guess that means it's back to reality. Back to reality always means the invoice. So let's check out the prices again for a final recap. So first on the list is the, uh, from Liverpool, the Carolyn printed leggings. Love these. Uh, these are size six. They're an excellent, excellent fit. I love them. These are only $78 and I think they are worth every penny. I am going to really enjoy wearing these this fall. Maybe even tomorrow, who knows. The next is the uh, purse, which I'm still undecided. It really depends on if my smaller laptop fits in here for traveling. Um, just back and forth to work, too. It's always good to have a backup on my computer. So really love the color on this. I love the hardware. I love the detailing. As I said, I didn't take the shoulder strap out, but I would probably just use it like this. If I do use it traveling, I would probably use the crossbody and put it over my arms. But if it, my laptop fits in here, maybe a book, some paper, some plenty of gum, I'm good to go. And this is only $68, so I think that is a good price for this bag. And again, it's a beautiful, beautiful color going into fall. Next, we have the Philosophy. This is the Tamara, the Keyhole Detail Blouse. They're calling it Off-White, but it's that reptile snake print. This is a size large, and it's $48. So $48, I think it is a good price. It's got that little uh, button right there, the fabric-covered button. I call them cap sleeves. They're kind of a cross maybe between a cap and a flutter. I think it was a big fit on me. I am undecided if um, it's got this front pocket. Love, love, love the print. I did keep um, uh, one from Calvin Klein a couple of fixes ago that kind of fit, and I was afraid to size down. So anyway, of course, now it doesn't fit me. I don't know if sizing down to a medium or a small would be the smart move in this. So I might end up just sending it back and then maybe trying in a few months to see if uh, Jen has another one that she can send me in a smaller size. So otherwise, if I, if I get one size or the other and it doesn't fit, now I've already checked out, now I've got to return it. So that's kind of a pain if you don't know what size you are. Next are these Liverpool. These were the Tyler Textured Straight Legs trousers. Love the print on these. Love the weight of the fabric. Um, 
Had these been a four and they fit around the waist and the hip and the legs, they just would have been too short because I just have not got on board with the cropped pants yet. But um, would love these. If these are available in a regular length, I would love to get these in a future fix, Jen. And these are $88, which is a standard price for Liverpool. Next, we have this kimono, and it wasn't the one that I was expecting, but, you know, I think I like this one better. I think I'm, I would love this with a, the perfect brown top under it, um, not the brown top I had on. Uh, maybe if I have a top, top like this, but in deep brown, I think would look really nice. I liked it with the jeans. I think um, I just had a, like a light wash jean. Love the padding pattern on this. And... Call me crazy getting a kimono now, but um, I think I really like this one. So let me know your thoughts on this, and this was $44, so a great, great price, I think. Alrighty, so all together, if I were to buy everything in this box, it would be $326. The 25% off would be $81.50, so the total would be $244.50. Might have to do some math because right there it's like if I bought all five, the Liverpool pants are pretty much free. Uh, but anyway, uh, so again, the total would be $244.50. I do have that styling pass that I paid already for, for $49, so I don't have any additional discounts. So that is my fix. So I am looking forward to your helpful comments and uh, just any suggestions you might have on how I compare things a little differently. And as always, I appreciate your stopping in and visiting. It really means the world to me to have you here. I just want to thank my subscribers again. You're the best in the world. I could not do this without you. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you click on that red subscribe button right there. I would love to have you come back and visit again. And again, thanks everyone for watching, and we will chat again soon. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye.